In this micro lecture, we discuss why computers use binary codes to communicate information. The use of binary codes is one of the most fundamental examples of how we use abstraction to simplify the complex task of designing a computer. When two components of a computer communicate, they send information back and forth by applying voltages to a wire or several wires. The sending component applies the voltage while the receiving component simply accepts the voltage. This process seems simple enough, except that there are many sources of noise that can cause the voltage received by the receiving component to be different from the voltage sent by the sending component. To cheaply and reliably process information in spite of noise, we build digital systems that consider ranges of voltages to be equivalent. To provide the largest margin of error, we want to map voltages into exactly two values, high and low. Voltages above this threshold are interpreted as 1, and voltages below the threshold are interpreted as 0. If we design the circuits properly, then the noise should never cause the sending components 1 to be interpreted as a 0, or vice versa. Ideally, after the digital components are designed, we should never have to worry about the exact voltage that is on each wire. Reducing complex analog circuit behavior down to ones and zeros is called the digital abstraction. I can't emphasize enough that abstraction is a central concept in computer science and engineering. For example, we will routinely group common circuits into these black boxes that will help us create more complicated circuits later. So in future micro lectures, we're going to come back to this idea of abstraction. And specifically, we're going to discuss more implications of the digital abstraction on how we encode information and design basic digital circuits.